All right, I got some new news, new news. My man Dave from Vermont got me some new news. New news. Uh, just got done watching this video for the second time. Five strange disappearance. Disappearance into Vermont's mysterious Bingington Triangle. Of course, one of them I covered, I got it off of Wikipedia. Now, like I say, where the cases have changed, or I don't know where this guy got his information. But like I say, things get changed, things come up. Things, I don't know, you know, get dis disclosed, but wherever this guy got his information from is totally different from what I covered in my video last year. And, uh... Just to let everybody know, as you can, uh, shoot, I forgot to do something. I wanted to pull something up real quick before I continue, just to prove that this person, um, oh, yeah, all right, bang. This was published February 25th, 2019. As you can see, five strange disappearing. Disappearances in Vermont's mysterious Bennington Triangle, which connects to the Bridgewater Triangle, the Connecticut Triangle, my Wachusett Triangle, and so forth. And, uh, I mean, you can go on this guy's thing here and check out his video or whatnot. But, like I said, what I wanted to go over was, uh, once again, this case. Now, this, I don't, like I said, I don't know where he got this damn, all this information from. As you see, I tried to s screenshot Paula Jean Weldon. Uh, I'll have to read this, but supposedly it was a $5,000, even right here, $2,000 if paid, if found dead. Five thousand dollars is found alive. Now, what is very bizarre in this case, and of course, hearing it from this guy, and what Wikipedia has not got. I mean, in my video, I think I went on the actual Wikipedia page, and like I said, I've been screenshotting stuff to bring stuff up right to show what is missing or if something's missing or something else comes up and this definitely has something else that comes up now in my original video and what I originally read and yes I did make another video on this showing that what it said and it said nothing that this guy has for information in Wikipedia so I don't know what the hell was uh brought forth to this guy or even how he even gets all his info but this is what I'm lacking in stuff and other people ain't somehow I don't know what I'm missing like I said the best place I go for resource and is free is Wikipedia I don't know like I say this this is insane and what this guy claims happened to this woman is a whole complete the story and I'll go over it again. What I read in Wikipedia, and you can check out my video. I think I have her name up. Paula Jean Wilden up. Is that she worked at the school in Bellington, Vermont, at the college. She decided one day to take herself out to the uh, long trail near the bottom half of the base of Green Mountain State Forest. And uh, decided to take a walk. And that's pretty much all I got. She got there somehow. She went in the woods. She took a walk. And I even point out in my video of what the Wikipedia says of the two old people or the two people that saw her go up around the bend of somewhere and disappear. I even said in my video before I say anything out of this video that maybe there was a serial killer. But what kind of serial killer would uh, be out there killing and would had to have had a path, mind you, a path to drag her out because there were people there. 
And when they said they walked up around the bend and seen her disappeared, you'd think you would hear someone dragging her out of them goddamn woods as a, as a kidnapper or whatever the hell it may be. And I said that in my video before this guy came out with it. Because he even mentions it could have been a serial killer around there. But right, what kind of serial killer would go pretty much in the woods to kidnap somebody, drag them out and take all that time, and whether or not he knocked her out. Or, you know, maybe put chloroform and knocked her out that way, or held her, or suffocated her, or whatever the hell the case may be. There would still be noise of trees, bushes, rustling, weeds, ground, whatever, rock, gravel, and, and someone panting, running, whatever the case, unless they waited until, say so, someone walked by and there was no one there and they figured, all right, everybody's gone now, this woman's out, I'm gonna go now. But still, a theory that I thought of before I even seen this video, and this is a new video. Like I said, I don't know where you get this information from, but damn. And I also said in my friggin' video of the Skinwalker sightings. There was a Skinwalker sighting up there in 2015 or 2014 or whatever I would mention. And, uh, whatever may roam up in them damn woods, them things can of course mysteriously take someone jet out of there without being seen, noticed, blah 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 or there's some kind of teleport hole she could have fell in or some dimension thing or whatever the hell the case may be but he even said in the video that I said Native Americans, right, bringing them skinwalkers out there that the Native American could have cursed that land too and it's only obvious that I brought this up before because anywhere, like I say in my videos of any Bigfoot sighting, Skinwalker sighting, any Puckwudgie sighting, anything in the sighting of this mythological creature, there's always an Indian tribe that lived nearby. So, that being said, just like the uh, Mount St. Helens, Indians lived around the base of that mountain, and right. But anyways... Finding out this and what was really going down, there was a man, that the private investigator, I guess the guy, the father found to, to investigate this, and he too came up missing. Go figure, his name was Archibald. <laughs> no, my name ain't truly Archie Bald. Archibald, it's Archie. <laughs> Anyways, he too became missing. The father became uh, kind of a suspicion into the case. Because something about this girl didn't want to come home or something. She wanted to stay out there and giving her father a hard time or whatnot. There might have been a secret boyfriend that could have killed her or something stupid in all these lines. But all this was not in the freaking Wikipedia of what I read in my video a year ago. Two, three, four years ago when I looked this up. Or even found it and came across it. Now all of a sudden this guy got everything goddamn in the book of it. What the... I like when all these people really get their damn friggin' research. Because every time I look something up, I only get half the story or some of the story. Then I got people yelling at me, like, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's right, because I don't get the right part of the story. So if that is true, and they said this girl was hitchhiking to this trail. Now that sounds kind of funny to me in ways, because why in the hell is this woman going to want to hitchhike just to take a walk? when she lives around a friggin' college campus. And they're saying, yeah, someone could be a serial killer, picked her up, or so forth, but she made it to the trail. She did this, she did that, walked up behind the, the school or something. Someone saw her, walked back down, took off, went to the trail, and then ended up missing. I mean, everything, to me, don't make sense. Very strange, bizarre story. And for all this stuff to be found and coming up now and not in the past and not in the Wikipedia, what the hell is really going on here? I don't know, man. It's like a friggin' if you want to check out this video, like I said, check it out. Hear the story and <laughs> go figure. There's some things that I said in my video that I didn't even know about or even 
I don't even have no reports like this guy has. And I mentioned things before I even saw this video, which was today, because of my man Dave. Kicked it out to me, as I'll show you once again. So people don't think I'm going around getting myself some information somewhere. Because I'm not. Because it stinks that I can't get this type of information. But, uh, right here, two hours ago, read it and weep. Right there, two hours ago, here's the link, bang. You bang on that, and comes up this. As you can see, I have it stopped in the middle of the video here. Push my little like button there. Top fives, bang. Long trail. And this has got other disappearances on it of people disappearing in these mountains, too, mind you. So that let alone, people, is only proves one thing. But I come up with my thoughts and theories before stuff like this comes out. Oh, how true it is. I can't believe what I come out with before any of this stuff comes out. I did screenshot. This is another one right here. A man went missing almost the same area, I believe, as this other girl. Whew. Paula. I mean, I gotta look up these signs to see if they're in there or whatnot, but I'm telling you, this this is crazy. Some things that I tell in my story and my ain't even I didn't even know about. This is all new to me and the things that I did come up with beforehand of this story. And I don't, like I said, I don't know where this guy gets his research from. Because I don't have it. I didn't get it. And to come up with this stuff like I do, man, I'd love to get the hell out there and really find out what really happened. Also, they said that this land could be cursed by Indians. And this woman wore a red coat. This guy back here that came up this barren wore a red coat. Something about red coats out there is not good. But, <laughs> You never know what will come up with me. Maybe I'll hit myself out there with a red coat. And whatever's out there that's cursed, that they bear, maybe I'll get something myself out there. And I know one thing. This story's bizarre. Stuff that I have come up with before I seen all this is insane. It's got me so damn hyped up like, holy crap. I can't believe what's been said as some things that I said before I even come out with it. And... For Wikipedia to have none of this information in there, it's like, wow, where did this guy get this information from? It's like the, the girl was, uh, you know, in the type of friggin' storyline with the father. is oh, I know you're out there with them boys, and I'm gonna kill you if you don't come home. And all of a sudden, yeah, there's a boyfriend, there's a father, there's a missing investigator, there's this. What the hell's going on? I don't know, man. That sounds bizarre to me, and I'm sticking with my friggin' stories of what's really out there. That's right, a curse. Skinwalkers. And the other guy ain't been found either, I don't believe. There was another woman that went missing, but her body was found decomposed in a river somewhere. You gotta watch the whole video, check it out. But, uh, mutilated body. Don't know what killed her. So that right there, missing bodies and then found bodies. It's only one thing, baby. Mythological creature that's real. I'm going with skin markers. But for this to come up and... and I will, I, yeah, I, I know I'm going to ask this guy where he got his information from. Tell me if he can tell me or whatever. But I ain't never got anything back from anybody. These people are a-holes when trying to get questions. So I'll be stuck in the rubber room like you people trying to think about where this guy get this information if it is true. Or you can think about what has already been said of this guy saying what I said before. Anything and... Ah. But whatever, I could be wrong. Other than that, this is insane that this is literally came up. And thank you, Dave, once again. And just... It's, it blows me away when stuff comes up that I said before I even watch or know about something. I got an intuition on something. I'm close to something, and these skinwalkers are trying to tell me something. Oh, damn, they are. So, the wind tonight cut me short. I can't get out to do any more videos because 
Yeah, I don't want no <laughs> tree coming down. Maybe if I go out and get knocked the fuck out. And <laughs> Anyways, be safe, take care, beware. You don't know what's out there like this. Insane stories. And I would recommend anybody to try and stay away from them triangles because if you don't know what you're dealing with or even know what you're into, it's not a good uh, proposition to go out there. Unless you're crazy like me and don't care what happens, but... <laughs> Red coat, baby. I'll be going out there with my bat, my Yinald Yilushi, and bat. Red coat. It's gonna probably be this summer, spring. Try to get there spring so I can miss them goddamn, hopefully miss the ticks. Because the ticks, they're real dicks. Out.